So he kills two wonderful people, scares seven children. They'll never be the same. Out of Polk County, three people are dead following a double murder-suicide. Seven children were inside the home when the shots rang out over the weekend. Get on your side's Megan Gannon joins us now live from the Polk County Sheriff's Office with the very latest on such a disturbing story. Megan. Hey, good evening, Jen. So we know four out of those seven children lost their parents. We're told that all of the kids were able to get out of that home with the help of another family member who was also inside. And neighbors in that area say they can't believe what happened. It all started as a weekend family gathering in this Point Sienna neighborhood and ended in a frantic 911 call. It was so brave. It was like moaning in pain. There was a lot of blood. Okay. All right, help is being sent, okay? Stay on the line. Exenia Dick woke up to the aftermath on Sunday morning. It was a crime scene van. I'm like, and when I looked, I saw a command station and, and all these things. I said, what happened? Deputies say Jesus Nunez was drinking and using cocaine all day and then lashed out, shooting and killing his longtime girlfriend, Stephanie Ruiz, and his friend, Uniki Luis. Nunez then turned the gun on himself. Another adult and seven children escaped. Four of those children are now orphans. Walter Evans lives across the street. Good family man. I don't know what went wrong. But Polk County Sheriff Grady Judd says Nunez wasn't the man he appeared to be. Well, I wish he was as good to his family as he was to the neighbors. Because while the neighbors said he was a good guy, he was anything but a good guy the other night. Now, the sheriff also tells us that the Department of Children and Families is now involved helping those four children who lost both of their parents yesterday. Reporting live in Polk County this evening, Megan Gannon, 8 on your side.